Sadie. You okay? Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. To do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Sure. You, me, and John. This whole thing is pretty much done, but Dutch still has our money hidden away, so. Well, how do you mean? When the time comes, just be uh, ready. What do you mean? I mean, if we can get out of here with money, <laughs> you and me, we ain't. We're more ghosts than people. And none of that loyalty matters. Jesus. Okay. I'm with you. Well, then you got yourself a gun. What's left of one? Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? <whistles> Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on.
Find more for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... We'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. I know that woman. She was with Dutch.
Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. You know, you're a confusing man, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.
Well, I best shake the dust off. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here.
I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Now, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Ah, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. And now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Captain Monroe will be at the meeting, and he knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way.
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. Situation. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well. That was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I... I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout. Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. I'll kill you. You son of a bitch. Open fire!
Let's go. Captain Monroe, you're with me. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man. Like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. Happy 
Good day to you. See you later. Hey there, girl.
another day. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh... He's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, yes. Why, well, okay. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Come in. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Let's go, girl. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, 
He'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <coughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. At this point, I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along. But he's holding all the Careful. money. Ain't that crazy. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh. You were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Group. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards up front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Let's 
Keep moving. Got a shot on him? need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. This... Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire.
for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Got him. Father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine, I'm fine. Shit! Ah. I don't think we're sneaking out of here. I want all three of them there! Like, 
You okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy for your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. I mean, he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No match.
Arthur. Where'd he go? I, I don't know. He left me a note. Told me I should do the same. Why? Well, I think he's worried. <laughs> he's a right to be worried. You worried? So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me. Ride with us. Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. Please, Mr. Morgan, have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right, let's ride out. Yeah. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. 
I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier. Bill, right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on! Somebody help no. him. No, no, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on! these men. And then they want to see eagle flies. There. Going across the walkway. You got what you want, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. If you go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Let's ride! Fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Ugh. Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get out of the factory field. You got what you wanted. Hold them 
So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region. 
against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it, and we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PG as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men... Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. So, yes, what were you talking about? You know, Dutch! <sighs> now, 
I was saying, you know, Dutch, Dutch is, I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... Some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here, my friend, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Peter. Yes. Peter. It's OK, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. Try to hold on. You'll be with your father soon. to me. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move.
Please. Drink. Drink this. Rest a minute. Besser Englisch Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber. Aber.
Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off... Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... This is a tough time, and you ain't, you ain't doing too well, but we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so, but if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more train. That's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, I ain't got much to lose, but you gotta do what's right and cut some loose. John and his family, I I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now. We gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money. 
from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. This is gonna work. Who knows? Ugh. I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory. I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first, we got one last train, John. One last train. Like she is, 
I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Macker? That's enough. Fire. All of you. Not much further now. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We still going through with this? Of course we are! Yes, I did. 
the old days, huh? This don't feel nothing like the old days.
Let's move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha! Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. That's uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life. This is done. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna get Abigail out. Of course we are. Because we don't leave our own behind. That's what Dutch taught us. Well, seems his mind got changed on that idea. I remember one time, years ago, he let fly at me for robbing this house. Saying, that man was too poor. How taken from him was no different from the system we was fighting against. Now, he don't care who dies, so long as he and Micah get rich off of him. Micah is a goddamn sickness. But, John said, Abigail knows where the money's hidden. If we can get to her in time, we might be able to get to it before they do. <coughs> Let's just get her out first. Say it, Mac, Davy. Jenny, Sean, Lenny, now John, we have to put an end to this. <laughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry young fool he used, 
just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. <laughs> What's left of it. Now come on! Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Easy. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get. out like gentlemen.
Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. Just kill a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? Oh, he's fine. Billy's got it. Oh, thank God. You'll be okay. to John. Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. 
Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. Oh, my Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <laughs> I gotta go settle some things. For me, no one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. I always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. from which one can escape. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your hand. May the cards lay out a stray. All from your command. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. 
It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead landed. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Watch out! I want that back. Right, Arthur! 
the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about them! They'll just be going back for the money! We need to get the hell out of here! Get up this cliff. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Look out. Hey, look out. Too close. Get behind a rock. God damn it. They're everywhere. Get out. Come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. Here. Just take it. It ain't no use to me now. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. I'm not to do 
gonna reach that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost despite my best efforts to the country it turns out I'm It is over. Now. What is it? It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on.
John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. <laughs> no. But I tried. <laughs> In the end, I did. <gasps> Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch! Come on! You're not better than me, Morgan. What do you say, you fool? Damn you. Damn us both! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The well, one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Thank you. 
tastes strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but, uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. then follow the road north. Okay. Oh, and you. We go 
past it. North. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. That's my damn wagon!
your last chance to come out of this breathing. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. You are, Missy.
Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Oh, 
Okay. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Look out. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Be careful. Come on, then. This is a dog's work. John Marston, the terror of the turds. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on.
Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there, we don't want it coming down. Okay, again. Good, now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. You're doing all right. That's it. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. as you can. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on, move! Uh, oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, shit! I'll get him. Like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. 
You got a temper on you. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Come on, thing. There, there. There, there. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. You're lucky you didn't kill anyone. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't... No, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, hey. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some 
Business with them boys or something? Oh. When Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. You done? <laughs> Come on. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Hey, now. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Whoa, none of that. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, baby. Easy. It's nothing. Come on there. Relax. Easy now. Easy there. There, there. Easy. Easy. You're okay. You're okay. It's all right. There's a boy. Good horse. Hey, fella. Good boy. trouble now. Give me some more. Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. <laughs> Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. 
Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but... You sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. I need you, Milton. Now. So. You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. <laughs> it's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Didn't come. Get hold of it again. <laughs> and pull. <laughs> hold them, Millie. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn, quiet, you know. 
Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We'll take it a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Yeah. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Even faster. Come on. Faster? Across to the stream. Yes, sir. you get back you think you're ready for a little race I guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ranch okay on my go go hey come back here you'll have to catch me And you're much smaller, like a jockey.
I beat you. I beat you. I well beat... Well ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh! Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit-shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Hey, 
hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me! What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep. Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. You done. You ain't so talky now, are you? 
Piss digging, shit shoveling, backwoods, Saka, no good. No good, trash. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she. <laughs> You're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying.
How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh?